Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about PEEP, that is positive end expiratory pressure in mechanical ventilation. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. Before discussing about PEEP, Let's have a brief discussion about the basic anatomy and physiology of alveoli which is involved in PEEP. Alveoli are tiny balloon-like air sacs located at the end of bronchioles in the lungs. Now, the alveoli are surrounded by a network of capillaries that is tiny blood vessels. And alveoli are the primary site for gas exchange that is oxygen and carbon dioxide between the lungs and the bloodstream. Next, let's discuss what happens during a normal breathing mechanism. Taking inspiration first, air enters during inspiration where the chest expands and air flows into the lungs. So, as the air flows into the lungs, the alveoli expands, gets filled with air like little balloons. And consequently, oxygen exchange takes place by moving from the alveoli into the blood. Next, in expiration, the chest contracts pushing the air out and thereby air leaves outside. So, as the air leaves outside, the alveoli decrease in size but still they remain open due to surfactant preventing collapse. Now, what is surfactant? The walls of the alveoli are lined with a substance called surfactant which reduces the surface tension and prevents the alveoli from getting collapsed during exhalation. So at the end of expiration what happens is carbon dioxide moves from the blood into the alveoli and is breathed out. Now let's get into PEEP that is positive end expiratory pressure. On defining PEEP it is the pressure applied by the ventilator at the end of expiration to keep the alveoli open. The main purpose why PEEP is applied during mechanical ventilation is it prevents alveoli collapse. How does this happen? PEEP keeps the tiny air sacs that is alveoli opened at the end of exhalation to ensure continuous gas exchange. Next purpose is improving oxygenation. We have discussed that it keeps the alveoli open. By doing this, there is more surface area available for oxygen to enter into the bloodstream. And hence it improves oxygenation. The next main purpose is reducing the work of breathing. And how this happens is, PEEP reduces the effort required to inflate the lungs with each breath and hence the work of breathing is much reduced when PEEP is applied. Now for a better understanding of how PEEP works, let's imagine balloon as lungs, deflating balloon as exhalation, leaving some air in the balloon as PEEP. So without PEEP, each time we let the balloon deflate completely, it is harder to blow that up again. Now, with PEEP, if you leave a little air inside the balloon after letting it deflate, it's much easier to inflate the balloon again. So this is the mechanism of PEEP. Hence, positive and expiratory pressure is like leaving a small amount of air in the balloon to make inflating the lungs easier for the next breath. Hope now it's much clear with an example we have explained. Next is common indications for positive and expiratory pressure. Making it simple in one line without much explanation. First is ARDS, acute respiratory distress syndrome. In this condition, PEEP improves oxygenation by keeping alveoli open. Next is pneumonia. Here, positive end expiratory pressure prevents alveolar collapse to
to enhance gas exchange. Next indication is atelectasis. Here, PEEP reopens collapsed lung tissue and maintains lung volume. Next condition is pulmonary edema. Here, PEEP helps reducing fluid in alveoli to improve the breathing. Next indication is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease where PEEP keeps the airway open and supports better oxygenation. Next indication is obstructive sleep apnea, where positive end expiratory pressure prevents airway collapse during sleep. Next indication is postoperative respiratory failure, where PEEP helps to prevent lung collapse and aids recovery after surgery. Next, let's discuss about the common PEEP settings. There are three categories, mild, moderate, and high PEEP setting. Mild PEEP setting is mainly used for minor lung tissues or routine support where the setting is 5 to 10 cm of water. Moderate PEEP setting is used for conditions like pneumonia or mild ARDS in order to improve oxygenation and this ranges between 10 to 15 cm of water. The high PEEP setting is used for severe conditions like acute respiratory distress syndrome in order to keep alveoli open but there is a risk of lung injury and here the range is between 15 to 20 cm of water or even more than that. Usually when setting positive end expiratory pressure the range starts at 5 cm of water and then adjust it based on oxygen levels and the lung functions. Now comes nursing responsibility in PEEP management. Monitoring patient's respiratory status. First is oxygen saturation. Use pulse oximetry to track oxygen levels continuously. Next is Arterial blood gas analysis. Monitor ABG regularly to assess oxygenation and ventilation effectiveness. Next main thing is respiratory rate and work of breathing. Monitor for signs of respiratory distress. Next is ventilator settings. Ensure the positive end expiratory pressure level is appropriate usually between 5 to 15 cm water but can be higher in acute respiratory distress syndrome. Next, monitor tidal volume, FiO2 and other ventilator settings to ensure they are adjusted to the patient's condition. Next is monitoring for complication. First is hemodynamic monitoring where we watch for signs of hypotension or decreased cardiac output. Also monitor for signs of barotrauma which is nothing but lung damage from too much of air pressure causing air leakage. Also monitor for volume trauma that is lung injury from over inflating the air sacs. Next main important thing is patient comfort. Here we ensure adequate sedation and pain control for comfort of the patient who is on mechanical ventilation. So, so far we have discussed the basic anatomy and physiology of alveoli and mechanism of respiration and what PEEP is and how PEEP works with an example of balloon. What are the indications of positive and expiratory pressure? What are the common PEEP settings and the nursing responsibilities in PEEP management? If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.